Hi. Okay. I'm just going to talk about a few updates in um, PredBat over the last uh, couple of weeks. Um, so the first thing to note is the um, latest release has a um, give energy time pause support. Um, so this is only for the newer firmware. So it's new firmware on Gen 1 and the Gen 2, 3 AOI inverters. You have to make sure the old firmware toggle into your TCP is disabled. So you've got these registers and update your app. CML should be able to point it to this battery pause mode entity, which is like a drop down selector that enables the pause options. I don't have it on my inverter, so I can't show that here. Um, and then if you're the newer inverters, Gen 2 and beyond, you also have a start and end time slot um, for pause, which basically it will just set to be all day um, so that the pause mode actually enables and disables pause. If you don't have that start and end slot, you can just delete those from the configuration, just use pause mode. What this actually does is it stops the inverter from discharging and discharge is turned off because otherwise it will take quite a little bit of um, uh, energy will still discharge about 500 watts on an AOI, for example, even when the discharge rate set to zero, um, which is a bit annoying because then the um, when you are charging and it's finished charging, it can fluctuate up and down. So with this in place, it should go down to about 50 watts. Um, and the similar for the um, on the um, freeze discharge mode where you're exporting the solar, it will still um, charge some of the battery, but when this pause mode, it'll only go down to about 50 watts charging the battery, which is an improvement. Um, if this then works for you, you probably want to change your configuration um, also to set the um, minimum um, rate that the inverter can actually work at. Um, I'm just going to open up my um, apps.yaml um, and um, in here, you can probably um, see somewhere down here. Um, so I actually set these up. I don't have them, so it will auto detect that I don't have them and then not enable the feature. So I set battery minimum rate to about 200 watts, which is what the Gen 1 does. It's about 500 in IOO all in one. Um, but you can set this to about 50 if you've got the pause mode enabled, which is quite nice. Um, so yeah, that's a useful feature we're trialing at the moment. <coughs> Um, another thing to mention is um, there's some new manual overrides. So these are selectors and there's a manual force charge freeze and manual force discharge freeze. Um, I've got it here twice because I changed the name of it. You should only have it once. So for example, if I look at my plan here, I've actually got a freeze discharge going on here. But let's say I wanted a um, a freeze charge at 8.30, for example, then I could go to here and then I could find my selector and I could go to manual charge freeze. And then I could select the time, which is going to be 8.30 at night. And I'll select that. And then this will change to plus 8.30. Every time you add one, it'll add more to the list. And then if I just hold on a second, um, then the plan um, will update. Can take a little while depending on your system. There you go, I've got a freeze charge <clears throat> at 8.30. <clears throat> so it always defaults to um, to whatever the current SOC is, so a freeze charge for this figure will change as opposed to a force charge, which just charges as much as you can. Um, so let me just go and clear that now because I don't really want to charge at that rate. So I can just select reset and clear all of them. Or you can select the individual slot and just clear that one. Um, so that is the main changes here. Um, as I mentioned, um, there's also some su support for the um, SunSync inverters. Um, that's being trialed um, by somebody who's got one of those. So um, that code's been rolled back in um, and some bug fixes and some documentation improvements, including a contribution from uh, one of our users here. Um, as always, if you fancy improving the documentation, please create a pull request and if it's an improvement, I'll factor it in. Um, notice all from the, the documentation, there is also a link to the new Facebook group. For that, which you can also 
um, join if you want to um, raise questions and discuss further and the link to this YouTube channel. Um, okay, well, thank you very much. And